My name is Paolo Svez and I'm the facility manager of the Cryo Electron Microscopy Lab at University of Milan. What we do in the lab, we are interested in investigating the structure and the function of macromolecular complexes as viruses, membrane proteins and other uh, enzymes in order to get a better understanding of their activity and also, most importantly, maybe to understand what goes wrong in a disease scenario. Range-free illumination is an upgrade that Thermo Fisher developed for their microscopes so that their beam can effectively just be smaller without having some artifacts that are called fringing. It's incredibly useful because it allows us, by having a small beam, to take more pictures of the same area. With FFI, by having a very small beam, you can take at least twice the amount of pictures in the same area. And this is good because if your sample is very precious, if it's a human sample that took a lot of money to make, a small amount, then you can take advantage of your sample better. But more importantly, what most people benefit from is the fact that you get many more images in a day. So your sample throughput or your data throughput becomes much better. My outlook on cryo EM in health and diseases can be explained with one example of Zika virus outbreak in Brazil where a lot of children got infected and died. So scientists took that as a challenge to use cryo EM to get structure of Zika virus, not one group but there were multiple groups. So from an Indian context I see a lot of tropical diseases such as malaria and chikungunya or dengue which are more common in Indian subcontinent will benefit a lot from cryo em to develop next generation of vaccines and small molecules which can inhibit. <laughs>